We make bad choices, wrong decisions. We do things we should not do. We're not perfect. We're sinners. Um, the Word of God speaks a lot about forgiveness, about the fact that Jesus Christ will open his arms to us. All we have to do is say yes and, and he will forgive us of our sins and bring us into the kingdom of God. And yet, us human beings can't forgive ourselves. We struggle with that aspect, I should say. Not that we can't, but that we struggle with that aspect. Sometimes I find that it's easier to forgive someone else that's done terrible things to myself than it is to forgive me. Ever felt that way? I, I think we all have. Oh, why, why so hard to forgive ourselves? Why do we struggle? I think, I mean, I mean this is from my own experience, is that we know our mind. We know the choices we made and why we did those choices. Because it felt good, because revenge felt good, because it physically felt good, because we were de you know, depressed, whatever it may be at the time. Maybe we didn't spend enough time with that person before they left us. And we can ask God for forgiveness and he forgives us of our sins, but we self-condemn ourselves and we keep bringing it up in our own minds. Why can't we forgive ourselves? It's a struggle. It's something that uh, I, I believe can be corrected because I've done a lot of correcting in my own life from the choices I made and decisions that I made knowing better <laughs> from a young child. <sighs> you know, we just have to take and apply the word of God to our life. If Jesus can forgive us out of the choices that we make and the decisions knowing how wrong we are so many times I have to take that and if I'm allowing God to work in my life properly and move within me and I'm allowing his presence then one of the things I must do is forgive me to forgive ourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We, 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 if we're working in all these other aspects of our life, we're feeling we have the Holy Spirit in us. We, we're sharing love. We're caring for others and forgiving others. Then the natural point is to eventually lay down before ourselves in a sense and say, I forgive you, Joel, for your name here, your name here, for making that choice today. Even though you've been doing so good and you haven't been going here and you haven't been doing that and you haven't been picking up that call to call that person who always gets you in trouble, you know, and all these things in your life have been going okay. You've been doing better. You're doing good. You're doing good. And you went ahead and did it again. You know what I mean? And you reach out to God and say, I'm sorry. You reach out to God and have forgiveness of sin. You need to reach out to yourself and say, oh, here we go again. <laughs> Stupid us doing the same thing again. But we got to let it go. We got to let it go because I don't want to walk around self-condemned. I don't want to walk around with a heavy burden on my life. I'm sure you don't want to walk around heavily burdened and carrying more weight than you can. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to forgive yourselves too. And you know what? God will provide us the strength and, and the encouragement to do these things, to, to keep going even when we can't. And, and even though we make the bad choices of life, Maybe day after day. 
we still need to make correction to our behavior. <laughs> of course, that's very, very important. But we also got to be easier on ourselves. We got to walk around with the love of God on us and, and his care and his grace. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, you might make a bad choice today, but forgive yourself as well. Let yourself off the hook every so often. But remember to always ask God for forgiveness of sin. And maybe you don't know Jesus. Maybe you're hearing this and, and you haven't accepted Christ as your Savior. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Make my home in heaven with you. I give you my life and forgive me of my sins. And I'll forgive myself too, God. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just said that prayer for the first time, message me, let me know. And if you're watching this video, how are you getting through this? How have you learned over time to forgive yourself along this path of forgiveness from God, forgiving others, and forgiving yourself? Let me know in the comments. I love you. God bless you. Share this message. Maybe someone else needs it. And you know what? Forgive yourself today.